Hi, my name is Adowa, and I am a psychotherapist bringing to you another book about your body. How to say no. What is consent? Should someone touch my body without my permission? Hmm. What about secrets? So, we will be reading a book today called Do You Have a Secret? The author is Jennifer Moore Malinos. I work with small people and it's very challenging for them to say no. It's very challenging for them to understand when something is a good touch or bad touch. They get afraid if someone says, I'll hurt your mom, I'll hurt your dad. You better not tell. Little kids also feel afraid when the person is close to them, like a relative. They're like, this is not right. I don't feel comfortable, it's happening. I'm afraid to tell on this person because everybody look up to this person. So in this series, we'll be talking about, well, we'll read books that will cover body safety. Okay, um, and like I said in my previous video, this does not only happen to kids, okay? Sexual abuse happened to adults. But what I am working on and reading right now in this series is all about the little children. Okay, um, if you find yourself needing a therapist, reach out to a therapist. If anything I'm reading to you triggers a negative emotion, talk to your doctor, get some help. This is only for information, okay? It's not to diagnose anyone, it's only to hear from a child, per child perspective. Okay, so we're going to take a deep breath. Let's begin. Do you have a secret? Hmm. What is a secret? Do you have a secret? Do you have a secret? Is it a good secret or a bad secret? Did you know that good secrets are things that can make you and somebody else very happy? Can you think of a good secret? If you kept a secret about a special birthday present you made for your best friend or your mom, would this be a good secret or a bad secret? You're right! This kind of good secret is okay to keep because it will always bring a smile to that special someone's face when they see their present. Can you think of a good secret that is fun to keep? Keeping a secret about your brother or sister surprise party can be so much fun. Just imagine the look on their faces when you yell surprise! a special handshake you share with your best friend. Would that be a secret that is okay to keep? I think so too. Fancy handshakes are fun secrets to have. Have you ever played hide and seek and helped your best friend find a hiding place? Helping your best friend find a safe hiding place so that they don't get caught is a secret that is fun to keep. Do you want to know my secret? Really? Okay. At nighttime, I like to sleep with my fuzzy teddy bear. 
His name is Fuzzy. When I'm scared, Fuzzy makes me feel warm and cozy. What about you? Do you have a good secret? But, what is a bad secret? Did you know that bad secrets are things that don't make you feel happy on the inside? Bad secrets can sometimes worry you a lot. The only way to make you feel better and happy again is to tell a grown-up your secret. If you kept a secret about somebody who hurt you because they kicked or hit or even punched you, would this be a good secret or a bad secret? You're right. It will be a bad secret because it is not okay for somebody to hurt you. What would you do if you saw the bigger kids at your school take the smaller kids' lunch money? Would it be okay to keep this a secret? You're right. It's not okay. Just because the big kids are older and taller, it doesn't make it okay for them to take something that does not belong to them. Can you think of another kind of bad secret? Would you keep it a secret if somebody touched you in a way that made you feel uncomfortable and all yucky inside? That kind of secret is a bad secret and that means you need to get the help of a grown-up so you can feel better do you think it is okay to keep a bad secret if someone asks you to of course not it is not okay for somebody who has done something that they were not supposed to do to tell you to keep it a secret. It is a bad secret and you need to tell a grown up. Okay? It's a bad secret. Tell a grown up. And who can this grown up be? This person should be someone you trust, like your mom or dad, your aunt or uncle, or even your teacher at school. Telling a bad secret is a very good thing to do. So let's be clear. Telling a bad secret is a good thing to do. Don't forget, secrets can be fun to keep, especially if they are things that will make you and somebody else very happy. These kind of secrets are good and they are okay to keep, but keeping a secret about something that hurt you on the outside or made you feel sad or scared on the inside is not a good idea. The best thing to do is if you have a bad secret is to always tell a grown up that you can trust. Telling a grown-up your secret could sometimes feel like a hard thing to do. 
So try to be brave and remember that telling your secret is not only the right thing to do, but it will help to make you feel better. Do you have a secret? The end. It's pretty challenging reading that. So this is the back of the book. Front of the book. Yeah. As a therapist, that was pretty challenging to read because I hear that a lot where a child has been sexually abused by someone in their family and they didn't know how to tell that secret. It was a unspoken language like children sometimes don't know it's a secret they just know it's a bad thing that's happened to them and then they internalize it to feel bad for the person that has harmed them so sometimes the kid don't feel bad that they suffer they more so feel bad if they tell them the person that has caused their suffering so then they don't tell them the person because it'll make them feel bad so it's a lot of manipulation the person that harmed the kid kind of like manipulated the kid to the point to where they put fear in the kid to not speak up. I've had incidents where children have spoke up to an adult and they were blamed. They were called bad names and nobody believed them. So you want to keep, keep speaking up. Keep speaking up. Tell someone until someone finally hear your story. For you to hold the pain um, and what I talk to about a lot of adults in therapy it's called suppress when you don't deal with it you kind of act like it don't exist some people create multiple characters multiple personalities depending on the level of trauma and when a trauma started and how their brain received that trauma some behaviors won't come out until the person is in a relationship and now all of a sudden they're feeling insecure, they're feeling neglected, jealous, guilty, betrayal, they're having flashes of their childhood. So it's very important to get help when you're a child with anything that is bothering you. Okay, um, someone's touching you and you don't like it, say no, speak on your feelings tell someone um, never feel like someone have the privilege to just touch your body in the wrongful way you're a child it should never happen okay so that's all I have um, so we read two books today I'll show the two books so the first book we read today was Miles is the boss of his body second book is do you have a secret so I have more books that I'll be sharing back because these books are really 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 deep huh? and I've been at work today dealing with real concerns people and presenting problems a little bit exhausted so I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope it helped you or your child in some way feel free to go online and look for the books and Support the authors, purchase the book for your children or for other kids. It's positive. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.